What does it mean to be in love? I don't know exactly, but I can tell you what it means. According to Webster's dictionary, intense affection and a warm feeling, a strong sexual desire, a strong fondness or enthusiasm. A zero score in tennis. How do you know if it is true love? I really don't know at all. Unless you swing your racket lots and never hit the ball. Tennis is a difficult game. It takes lots of skill. I've never scored a point before, so I know I'm in love still. Washington was our first white president. John Adams was the White House's first resident. Thomas Jefferson was Louisiana's buyer. James Madison escaped the White House fire. 
James Monroe was our second president in a row named James. John Quincy Adams and his daddy had similar names. There were giants in the earth in those days and also after that. When the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men. We're a old men of renown. Andrew Jackson was trigger happy and mean. Martin Van Buren's sideburns a sight to be seen. William Henry Harrison caught a cold and he died. John Tyler had no vice president by his side. James K. Polk was our third president named James. Zachary Taylor died and they dug up his was the greatest man who ever lived. Franklin Pierce was our first handsome president. James Buchanan is featured on the three dollar bill. Abraham Lincoln set the captives free and won the Civil War and he was killed. Andrew Johnson was a peach. Yeah, he was as popular as a skunk. S. Grant got busted for riding his horse while drunk. And there were giants in the earth in those days and also after that. When the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old men of renown. called Rutherford Fraud, among other names. James A. Garfield was killed. He was our fifth president named James. Chester A. Arthur had sideburns that would put Martin Van Buren to shame. Grover Cleveland ran for re-election against Benjamin Harrison and lost. Benjamin Harrison ran for re-election against Grover Cleveland and lost. Grover Cleveland, do you remember him? Yeah, well, he's back again. And there were giants in the earth in those days and also after that. When the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men. Kinley was shot and just like the other William, he died. Theodore Roosevelt looks down from the mountainside. William Howard Taft was our first morbidly obese president. Woodrow Wilson had a stroke and his brain
brains were fried. Warren G. Harding partied like a rock star, and then he died. Calvin Coolidge was Calvin Coolidge. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they their children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old men of renown. Herbert Hoover saw the economy take a downhill slide. Franklin D. Roosevelt was elected four times before he died. Harry S. Truman dropped the bombs that won the Second World War II. Dwight D. Eisenhower was our first Dwight president. John F. Kennedy was a conspiracy theorist's dream. Lyndon Johnson would neither seek nor would he accept. Richard Nixon would seek, accept, win twice and resign. Gerald R. Ford could play the football mighty fine. Jimmy Carter was our sixth president named James. He was a tough peanut to crack. Ronald Reagan wouldn't cut the Soviet Union any slack. George Bush won the first war in Iraq. Bill Clinton loved the ladies and he was impeached. George W. Bush was oftentimes slow of speech. Barack Obama is currently the president. There were giants in the earth in those days and also. After that, when the sons of 